snow's been falling since sunrise. Weather service says up to five inches before it's all done. Traffic in Atlanta at rush hour. Look at this bumper to bumper. Almost a whiteout condition there. Hundreds of flights grounded at Hartsfield and emergency crews. They're gearing up for a very long night ahead there. And the official word in Alabama, just stay home. There's snow as far south as here in Mobile. This city sits right there on the Gulf of Mexico. These people don't see snow, so they're enjoying it. Look at that snowball fight. Here is another live picture from Atlanta, and it's very quiet, not much moving there on the streets below, and it's probably a good idea because they've been getting it since early this afternoon. Here in Charlotte, we want to give you a picture of Providence Road. This is right at Fairview. This is in South Charlotte, and Eric Thomas, I know that you've been having it measured back at your house. Talk to us about what South Charlotte's gotten so far. Well, yeah, I live uh, near Matthew and uh, right now, uh, my wife, who knows how to measure snow, she should, uh, and uh, 1.5 on the deck railing there uh, near Matthews at the moment. And uh, right now, the heaviest snow belt is coming through the immediate Charlotte area. And this also includes our friends here, Scott Clark's Toyota City WeatherNet. In fact, we can roll on this, and you'll see that right now, their number checking in at 30. But isn't this fun to watch the parking lot as it just gets glazed over by the snow here in just the last few frames? So very impressive. You see that their temperature is uh, awesome obviously below freezing there. Now we'll take you to UNCC. Same thing, high definition picture. If you look closely, you'll see some of the snow falling. You see the, uh, the roof getting white there, so that's impressive. They're number 31 degrees. All right, Metro School, uh, sun goes down and the snow starts flying. Another nice shot, and look at the visibility get cut with that snow, 29. Now up here in Newton, unfortunately, the, the lens gets coated over by a lot of moisture, so it's hard to really get a read there, 27. And finally, you'll notice it, it doesn't look like anything changes at all up here in the high country, 25. That's because there's just not much snow flying up there. A couple of quick pictures. We'll show you again the dogs here, uh, Sheba and Blondie in Aww, South Gastonia. Uh, they're cute. having fun. They're looking at their footprints there, so they're getting a kick out of that. And uh, here you go, Maureen. This is a doggy snow cone. Uh, the dog looks like uh, Lick, Lick, and I think it's Max uh, here in Rock Hill. Cute. And then finally, Bobby Buchanan. We've got the American flag with the glaze of snow there on his grass nice as well. Stuff. So the winter storm warning still for up, upwards of three inches has just been expanded into the Piedmont of North Carolina. And you'll see that the heaviest belt of snow right now is moving through Mecklenburg and already now just getting slightly east of Mecklenburg. We're still in a moderate range of snow a moderate range of snow from about Charlotte, I-85, and then westward 74 into Cleveland. You see this on the radar, and then you get west of that area, and it's light. So again, to emphasize, the heaviest belt is moving through right now. Okay, so 30 degrees, that's where we stand, and it's an exciting night out there once again, as Maureen pointed out. For the third Friday in a row, we're dealing with winter weather around here. Unbelievable. 28 around Jefferson. Most areas now below freezing. We'll take you to 9 o'clock, call it 28, and 27 by the 11 o'clock hour. Okay, so a sizable storm, but as everybody's been telling you, the meat of the storm has really been a Gulf Coast storm this time. Atlanta, Columbia likely going to get much more snow than even we get here in Charlotte. They're going to get heavy snow around Myrtle Beach as well, so if you have travel plans this weekend, you need to take that into account. Officially, accumulations around here, we're thinking one to two, less to the north, one around northern Mecklenburg County, two around southern Mecklenburg County, two to three from about the state border, down into Lancaster, around Pageland, Chesterfield County. You get the idea. So this storm, that's going to make its way off the east East Coast, a cold air mass once again making its way down here into the Carolinas. So with that said, just get ready because uh, we're going to get rid of the snow, but we're not getting rid of the cold air. So 40s over the weekend, a little wet flake could blow in here again Sunday night and into Monday. And then after that, 